Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com. And in this week's episode of The Automation Show, we're working with Mitsubishi PLCs. We're trying to write our very first program. In the first half of the episode, we unboxed the PLC, we redeemed our license, and we installed the software. So now here in the second part of the episode, what we're going to do is actually try to program one of these for the first time. So before we do that, let's take a look at the trainer here. You can see I just have four, in, uh, four inputs, four uh, push buttons, I have four pilot lights, and then I have a relay that I can turn on. I also have the contacts wired back in to the PLC to act like the auxiliary contacts on a motor starter. And so that's what we'll use to write our simple program. So with that said, let's go over to the computer here. And I'm going to go ahead and start up GXWorks 3. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new project here. You can see the different CPUs we can choose. I got an R CPU, FX5, FX. What I want is the FX5. And then mine's an FX5U. And then I'm just going to stick with ladder here. So I'll click on OK. OK, we get this notice here. I'm just going to click on OK. And then we get this notice here as well. I'm going to click on OK there. So I'm new to using this software. So if you have any advice, if you're an experienced user, I'd love to hear it. So please let us know. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go to Module Configuration. Click on OK here. And I definitely want to right click here and change my CPU to match what I have, which is the FX5UC32MTDSSTS. So I'll select that and click on OK. The next thing I want to do is change the IP address. I want it to be 1, 5. Excellent. And now let's go back to the program and start writing our program. So we're going to start with the stop button. We'll use this open contact here. And the first input is X0. OK. Next, we want to input for our start button. So let's put another contact here. And this will be X1. That's where I have the uh, start button wired into. Now we're going to want to seal in around this when the motor comes on. I have the auxiliary contact of the uh, starter, or in this case, it's just a relay. I have that wired into X6. So let's go ahead and do a vertical line. OK. And then we'll put another set of open contacts here at X6. OK. And we'll come back up here and put another vertical line. Excellent. And then the last thing we want to do is have the motor. So we'll put here a coil, and that will be Y6. That's where I have the relay wired into. That's output number six. And there we go. Now that would be all we needed to do if we didn't want to uh, animate the uh, LEDs to give us a stopped and running indication. But we do want to do that. So let's come over here and we'll put an open contact in. And we'll say, hey, if that auxiliary contact is on, then let's go ahead and turn on our green light, which is at Y1. OK, that's the second output or output number one. OK, and then we'll do one more line here. We'll say if X6 is off, if the auxiliary contacts are not closed, then we want to turn on the stopped LED, which is 0. So that will be Y0. OK, so so far so good, right? Very simple code. Now let's go ahead and check our communications here. I'm going to go online. Current connection destination. Now I'm plugged in directly using a USB to Ethernet cable directly into the unit. And I don't have to know its IP address or my IP address. As a matter of fact, my little USB to Ethernet converter, you can see right here, it's set up for DHCP. And because I'm directly connected, it's not getting an address. So it's using that auto assigned address, 169254. Um, but that's a cool thing with Mitsubishi is you don't actually have to you know set a static address to communicate with it. You just have to choose the right Ethernet card, and then we'll do a communication test here. Successful, so it found it. OK, so with that done, that's one other thing I want to do. Let me go ahead and build this or convert it and see if we get any errors. No errors, no warnings. That's good. So I think we're ready to download it, and we want to do that here, right to PLC. It says Unf unfixed parameter exists. We'll say yes. And here, I'm just going to choose all parameters and programs. Now, 
Again, if you're an expert and I'm doing this wrong, let me know, but this works for me well. So let me execute that. This is probably, you know, when you're using something for the first time, you always like, there's probably a faster way to do it. You don't know what you don't know when you're a new user, right? Okay, so that's done. We'll close that. They say press reset on the CPU once to run it. Okay, so we'll close. And then before we go over to the field, let's see if we can't monitor the code here. Okay, and we can already see my stop button because it's normally closed is on here. And uh, you can see that my uh, auxiliary contacts X6 are um, not closed, but you can see I'm also not getting my red pilot light because we're not in the run mode. So let's come over here to the field here. And what I'll do here, they said reset it once, so I'll reset. Okay, there we go. Now I'll put it in the run mode. And we can see we got a red light. And I've lost communication, so let me uh, click on that. And now I'll go to monitor again. Okay, we're communicating again. So now at this point, everything's looking good. I see the status over there. Uh, everything's working over here. Stop is up. If I put the stop down, I should not be able to start it. Okay, that's good. Let me release the stop and press start. Okay, you can see it started. You can see Y6 is on. You can see it sealed in with X6. And I got a green light. See, here's the relays on. I get a green light. And you can see my input. So let me go ahead and stop it. Release the stop. I'll hold down start this time. And everything seems to be working great. So that's how easy it is to write a simple program for Mitsubishi PLC. And uh, I hope you found that interesting. You know, we've done uh, so much Alan Bradley over the years. It's nice to try the Siemens and Mitsubishi. And we plan more videos on those, as well as more Alan Bradley videos uh, going forward. But a huge shout out to the guys over at Mitsubishi, including Jeff Brown and I think Lee Chung uh, for sending over the codes and the hardware and uh, I'm looking forward to doing more programs with it and learning more about it. And if any of you are experts, please share your expertise with me because I love learning. And uh, shout out to Paul, who's writing articles over at the Automation blog for us about Mitsubishi. So uh, uh, we're going to have a good time. But with that said, that's really the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Um, if you do enjoy it, please don't forget to give us a like and a sub. And um, if you want to support the show and become an insider and get early access to these videos and um, get free downloads and all that, check us out over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And with that, if you know anybody who needs training on Alan Bradley, because that's where I'm, my expertise is, please send them over to the automationschool.com. That's what keeps the lights on. And that's it. I just hope you all have a great week. And until next time, peace.